Hey, if you're a boater, this video is definitely for you. So stay tuned. We're talking all things boating and area marinas in today's 228th episode of Get Sarasota Real Estate Fit with Shayla Twitt. We've been really diligent about putting videos up twice per week. We post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We've been pretty good about that. So we want to give you really good content. We want you to love Sarasota, know about it, learn about the market, the shifts in the market. We got fish jumping here too. It's always a party. Um, I want you to learn about what's available here, whether you're purchasing or vacationing or maybe selling and wanting to upgrade or downsize. So again, thank you for watching all of our videos and subscribing. We so appreciate it. Share them with your friends and family and colleagues. Like and comment. We love the interaction. Okay, needless to say, again, stay tuned for this video, Boating and Marinas. Okay, so we're gonna show you four different area marinas between Manatee County and Sarasota County today, just to give you a little bit of a variety. And we're gonna start off the marina tour as the fish are just hopping about in the water at Sarah Bay Marina, locally owned and operated. They can accommodate up to 50 feet on the docks and up to 40 feet in the dry docks here. So this is located on the Manatee County side, just north of University Parkway, which is the cutoff. And it's just northwest of both Sarasota Bradenton International Airport and Dolphin Aviation. So tag along as we give you a tour of some of the other area marinas. Stop number two on our tour is Marina Jack. We are right in the heart of downtown, beautiful Sarasota, Florida here. And there are, there's room for 316 slips. It's on deep water here. You also have what's really cool is the Freedom Boat Club. I think there's one other, I forget the name off the top of my head. But if you don't want to own a boat, you can pay a membership fee and have access to a variety of different boats if you want to test out the boating lifestyle without having to uh, spend the investment on a boat. So that is a really cool opportunity. We're going to have some links below about the Freedom Boat Club and other options there. And what's great about this is you've got the walkability, of course, to downtown. So beautiful. There's a nice little uh, waterfront park with a kids area down to the south end. You've got O'Leary's Tiki Bar as well. Um, that's all right here. And you've got this beautiful um, upstairs and downstairs restaurant. Upstairs is more formal. Downstairs is totally informal with an open bar concept. You've got really great valet service, which comes in handy because this place gets really busy. Um, we actually just had a recent boat show here that I came to and it was packed with people. They'll put tents up over here and everything. So Marina Jack, you can't come to Sarasota and not spend time on Marina Jacks. Third on our list is the beautiful Sarasota Yacht Club just north of Marina Jack. You could really technically walk, that'd be a long walk. Beautiful interior, uh, redone not too long ago by uh, area renowned architect Mark Sultana. Impeccably done with a lot of the boating features you see here. And there's two bars, really formal. It's actually the only totally private club in the Tampa, Sarasota Bay area. And what's cool about this, as we kind of show you the marina here, come along. Um, we've had many meetings here as well for our office. Um, I think this is actually locked, but let's go in here. And really well protected marina here on the Intercoastal Waterway. So over 100 slips and you've got a community pool. And what I was saying is you don't have to have a boat to join. You can be a social member and meet people in the neighborhood or the community. And you, you don't have to live in Sarasota to be a member. You can be in another state, which a lot of our snowbirds are. So just a really beautiful setting and a great marina option. Last on our list, number four is Hidden Harbor Marina just so you get a, your bearings on the location. So from the last location, we kind of went all the way south on 41. 41 is also called Tamiami or Tamiami Trail or 41. So we're west of that because we're west uh, closer to the water. 
So, and uh, Hidden Harbor is, there's a little neighborhood down this way. You're right at the end. Uh, you can see it from 41. There's dry dock storage up to 40 feet. And there's also wet dock. And they are uh, participants of the Freedom Boat Club as well. And if you're in the market to buy a beauty like this one, how beautiful is this boat over here? There's lots of beautiful boats. I don't think I'd ever own a boat. Let's knock on wood that I don't. <laughs> Um, but I do have friends that are yacht and boat brokers in town. I know a couple people at Marine Max and there's others and um, some are just like independent brokers. So if you're curious, you're kind of starting to dive in a little bit about that in the Sarasota area market, I'm happy to connect you with some recommendations. And if you need more information about some of the clubs like the Freedom Boat Club, you can click like, message me shaylatwit.com and you know this is just one of the many reasons people you know live and vacation here in Sarasota because we have so many amazing boating options and waterfront fun things to do and it never gets old here so thank you again for watching we'd love it again if you subscribe on our 228th video so thank you click the link below shaylatwit.com